NASA is engaged in a very special first of its kind mission in Alaska. It's studying the greenhouse gases that are kind of bubbling up as warmer air thaws out that state's famous permafrost. Believe it or not, there's a lot of stuff trapped into that ice in the permafrost. Our Dave Malkoff takes us aboard a high tech plane that's kind of sniffing out the gases, if you will. This is where you sniff from. NASA has a nose above Alaska. My name's Seth Chasnoff. I'm an engineer with the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. We have seen the Arctic change. Millions have felt it. And this crew... My name is Chip Miller. In this custom-built plane... The Carve C-23 Sherpa... Can smell it change. We're smelling for carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, methane. Alaska is warming fast. In the past 50 years, average temperatures are up 3.4 degrees Fahrenheit, twice the national average. When the frozen earth thaws out and unleashes ancient carbon that's been in deep freeze in some cases since the woolly mammoth walked this land. Some 2,000 billion tons of carbon are thought to be sequestered in the frozen soils and permafrost. While much of that is buried way too deep to defrost, globally around the Arctic, up to 20% is actually close enough to the surface to start this massive exhaust of ancient carbon that could rival the carbon humans have pumped into the sky since the dawn of the Industrial Revolution. Here, we have an instrument that is looking down through the port here. Oh, that's an open hole in that, the plane. That is an open hole in the bottom of the plane. <laughs> well, we slid under All the right. plane now. Here yeah. we are. Oh, yeah. So this is the port through which the infrared camera looks so we can see individual trees and branches as we're flying along. Trees breathe in carbon, that's their job, but humans and animals and fine permafrost, they breathe it out. The more carbon in the air, the hotter it gets. The hotter it gets, the more carbon comes out of the ground. More heat, more carbon, more heat, more carbon, more carbon. More carbon. It's a loop. That's the problem that we have. In the winter, it's a problem you can actually light on fire, made worse when that methane gets into the skies above Alaska. Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel. Dave Malkoff is so amazing. I, I, I hope you guys love his stories as much as we do. Jim, we should just point out that one of the reasons why we're concerned about the methane is, methane is a gas that's kind of really worthy watching. Yeah, it, it's, if you take a 20 year period, uh, there's, you know, the, 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 the studies say that methane absorbs 72 times as much carbon, or infrared radiation as carbon, so it's more heat. Yeah. So the, the thing that Dave was talking about is the feedback. Yeah. You know, so you put more carbon up there, you make it hotter. Uh, yeah. It just kind of, you know, builds off itself. And then you add methane to it, which right. is also going to be released, as you saw from the fire, we got some problems. Hey, it's Dave, just one more second. That story you just watched is actually part of a larger 4K Ultra HD documentary on what's going on in Alaska. You're in luck, you can watch it right now by clicking this button. And since you're watching on YouTube, you can see it in that stunning 4K Ultra HD quality. Hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome on in. I'd love you to subscribe. If you just hit this button, you can see all of my reports from the last 20 years or so. So I have hundreds of videos on here on hundreds of different topics. Thanks for watching and hopefully you can subscribe by clicking here in the documentary. Of course, you can click here to watch that.